So our flight is long distance direct flight. Yeah, no, it has to be. How long, you ask? Yep, we recently took a 22 hour flight from New York to Bangkok. And in this video, I want to share some tips and tricks that helped us survive this long haul flight. Tip number one invest in travel gadgets. Protective eyewear. Of course, not every gadget will be worth your money. So here are a couple of items that I actually found helpful and not cumbersome to carry around. The first thing is this collapsible water bottle. Being stuck in an airplane for long hours means you're most likely to get dehydrated. So make sure to stay hydrated and don't be shy to ask to fill up the bottle. You're saving their paper cups and services. Once you are done, you can deflate the bottle and store it in your suitcase easily. I found this bottle on Amazon. The second item is a travel pillow from TRTL, and it's designed to support the neck and prevent neck tension from sleeping wrong. So it's a neck brace for sleeping and more of a scarf than a pillow, but it helps sleeping better than any travel pillows I've used so far. How do you use it? You can wrap it around your neck and have your shoulder and neck in contact with this frame. I was pleasantly surprised how much this helped prevent neck tension. I have no neck tension. This really kept my neck in position. Awesome pillow. Next item is an inflatable travel pillow. And this pillow is designed for crouching sleepers, like my husband. It's quick and easy to inflate the pillow and gives great support for sleeping face down. Gives you a really isolated, nice feeling for spending $23. Additionally, noise cancellation earphones in a sleeping mask can also help you have a better sleep on an airplane. Tip number two keep your clothing loose and comfortable, except the socks. Try over-the-counter compression socks. These socks gently press around your ankles, helping blood circulation. I usually get swollen feet and legs by the end of an international flight, but this time I barely had that problem. The socks definitely help to reduce the swelling. Now, I'm not flying anywhere without them. Tip number three, freshen up occasionally for psychological reasons. For me, the best way to survive a dreadful long-haul flight is to remind myself that I am treating myself with a vacation. So I like to pamper myself and browse cosmetics in a duty-free brochure, constantly reminding me that I am on a vacation. Speaking of vacation, here's the tip number four. Which is Eat and drink in moderation. Sure, having a little bit of light beer can help you relax, but avoid heavy drinking and having spicy and raw vegetables. They can make you gassy during the entire flight. I'm so hungry. I've never been so hungry on an international flight. Also, pack enough snacks. Some airlines will surprise you by not offering any food to purchase on an airplane. Tip number five. Be productive. Bring a project to finish. Sometimes motivation to get things done can be a great distraction to a long haul flight. When you're focused, time will go by faster. <laughs> Tip number six, get the best seat that you can. If you are traveling as a duo, book an aisle and window seat and leave the middle seat empty. You will have a much better chance of having three seats all to yourselves. You can also book an emergency exit row for more legroom, or consider upgrading to an economy plus if your airline has that option. We paid about $100 more per person and upgraded our seats to AZNS Economy Smartium. The extra legroom was worth every penny. Last but not least, tip number seven, be organized. When you're carrying a lot of things with you, it's so important to get everything organized. So you don't stress finding things last minute, 
and when you have to put away your bags. Here's a travel accessory that I highly recommend you to try if you haven't yet, a tracker. We've been using a tracker from Tile for many years now to keep track of our passports, IDs, and important travel documents. Just like that, our longest 22-hour flights have come to an end. And the three weeks of traveling has just begun. I have a lot to share about our trip to Thailand and South Korea in the coming weeks. So stay tuned and if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the new videos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. As always, thanks so much for watching.